Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews. My name is Tim, and this is my review for Gigi and Nate. Um, so... Overall, I did not hate this movie. I, I am a fan of uh, movies that like uh, deal with hardships and people overcoming them to be better instead of just falling into their uh, disability and stuff like that. I do love those movies. It pulls on my heartstrings. I'm not going to lie. I'm a big softy teddy bear. I really am. I really, really am. But the issue with Gigi and Nate is that Everything seems so tonally off, and it just goes eh, 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 to the end of the movie. Like you could, you could predict every scene that was coming up in the movie. Like there was no, there was no stakes to um, how it all plays out and everything. Like you always felt that oh, it's gonna, it's gonna work out for these guys, I, and. I mean, deep down, you do know that because it is loosely based on a true story. But that's the problem. But let's let's give you a little brief to this movie. So Gigi is a capuchin monkey who gets rescued from this really shitty pet in zoo in Arizona. Uh, and she gets rehabilitated to become a service animal. Now, we meet Nate a very suave, very cool, very outgoing young man who takes a dive off of some rocks. Uh, so he's struck down with meningitis. And you can get meningitis from a bacteria that if you dive into water, it gets shot up into your nose and everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's crazy. He becomes a quadriplegic and he pretty... He, he, this go this goes into the whole it's predictable on what was going to happen like he he's the the cool suave kid just living his life the accident tries to kill himself the redemption arc with the monkey the baddie of the movie him going off to college like it, you 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 got it but like there was never any turmoil for the family, there was like one dust up between the mom and dad, who was played by Marsha Gay Harden and Jim Belushi, but like he he never storms off. He never gets in the car. And is like I'm leaving. They like never have that moment. They have the dust up, and then they have a moment where they're like they go and have a date night, and everything gets back to being fine. <laughs> they seem like they've had just had a shitload of money also, and it I guess with that aspect of it. It seems more, I don't know, I, I, I don't want to say if you got money, you don't have hardships. They had hardships, but it seemed like everything was easier for them. Like the dude's, uh, the dude's recovery room was like a football, like a, like a suite bigger, than, bigger than this room right here. You know, like everything seemed totally off. But the, the story between him and Gigi, and then the kid fucks up, he takes Gigi to he takes Gigi to a party where the monkey's getting drunk, which was another predictable thing. Uh, then the, like the, the Karen of the movie comes out, they like protest at the people's houses. There's like a violent action, but they just overshadow that, and then she pushes to get Capuchins putting on the registry of animals that can't be used as service animals. She's a bitch. And, like, they win. Uh, they Capuchins go on the registry of animals that can't be used. But then the grandma comes up and is like, well, they're legal in this state where they happen to have a uh, this beautiful lake house that they had to sell, sell to build Nate's room because he became a quadriplegic. They had to build a specialized room. But then they're like, oh, it went back up on the market. We could sell the house there, buy it. We can get Gigi back. Nate will be happy. And then at the end of the movie, Nate goes, I'm going to college. So you guys did all this for nothing? Like, I... 
I don't know. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. It just felt tonally off and very predictable. So where does this lie on my five-star movie review system? Uh, it's a three and a half star. The only reason I didn't give it two stars is because the monkey is cute as hell. And I love monkeys. They're just adorable. I don't want one. They're just fucking adorable. Little... So I gave it a little half. It's my system. I can do what I want, right? <laughs> guys, thank you so very much. Let me know down below if you guys saw Gigi and Nate. Uh, you probably didn't. I think this movie just came out and it was pretty much nothing. Uh, I should have looked up the box office. I was a little curious about that, but... Either way, it's got Marsha Gay Harden, it's got uh, Diane Lang, it's got Jim Belushi in it. Uh, you may or may not like the main actor, I, I, I don't know, he came off a little stiff. Maybe it's just because he doesn't have a lot, didn't have a lot of roles, and there was a lot of weight to this. But uh, we'll see. Guys, like I said, down below, let me know if you've seen this movie or not, or if you just said pass, because I'm sure, I think a lot of people. All right, guys, I will see you in our next video.